Hello again. Now this week I'm going to show you how to make some badass barbecue sauce. Oh yes. Now this was actually from um, episode six of Chef Race BBC America, the show that I was just in where we traveled across the whole of America. Um, now we had to, for the challenge, make, each team had to make their very own barbecue sauce. Now me and Johnny came up with this sauce and we had to design the label with the whole team and each team had a thousand bottles to sell. And I'm very, very happy to say that we won this challenge. So excited and I'm so pleased. Anyway, badass barbecue sauce because it is badass. Now I'm gonna show you my version of it now. Obviously this was made in a factory in America and I'm so glad I've got a bottle to keep as memories. Um, I wanna say a huge thank you to Sir Dyke's Motor Sports Shop um, in St. Louis because they bought the majority of our badass sauce because they are badass. Yeah, so if anyone's in St. Louis, I so wanna go back and see you guys one day. I'll put the details to their shop on my blog. Now, it's just a whole load of ingredients that go into a saucepan. The base of it is tomato ketchup. So you want to have about half a pint, that is about one and a half cups. Okay, let's pull that all in. Tomato ketchup in. Now, a few more ingredients. We wanted our sauce to be really spicy. So I'm gonna put in a tablespoon of chipotle chili pepper, okay? This I actually had to buy in America because I couldn't find it here in England. If you can't find um, chipotle, then just use any kind of like hot uh, pepper, maybe cane pepper would do. So one tablespoon, teaspoon of salt. Right, salt. Now we also wanted it to have a quite smoky flavor. So we got some smoked paprika. In the factory they had all sorts of different flavorings. So I'm trying to use ingredients that you'll be able to find at home. So half a teaspoon of that going in. Also a friend bought me some of this back from America. This is liquid smoke. So I'm gonna put a dash of this. If you can find some of this um, in a shop, then use a little bit of this just to give it a really nice smoky barbecue flavor. I'm gonna use hickory, okay. Some onion powder or some onion granules, half a teaspoon. Now we need to give it a kind of a slightly um, soury taste to combat the sweetness. I'm putting in a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. For the sweet, I've got some dark molasses. So <clears throat> I'm gonna put in about a tablespoon and a half of that. Just to make it a bit darker, I'm gonna use some treacle. About a tablespoon of treacle. Oh, I love this stuff, look at that. Just a few more. We're gonna have a bit of lemon juice as well. So the barbecue sauce was a bit smoky, it was sweet, it had a bit of a tang to it, it was tangy, and it was hot. No pips. For a bit of added extra flavor, I'm just gonna get a couple of cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna smash them. Okay, I'm just gonna leave them to go in there whole, crushed, and then you can take them out later. One, two, I also put a little bit of thyme in. So I've got some fresh thyme, again, just a couple of sprigs, just to give it a subtle kind of hint. And those are all the ingredients. Now I'm gonna heat this up bring it so it's just up to the boil and leave it for about a minute or two, um, just so that all the flavors can sink in together. Now, there we have barbecue sauce, as easy as that. And um, I've just let this cool down a little bit. Now I'm actually gonna take out my cloves of garlic they should be infused in there. You don't have to, you can actually leave them in if you want a more garlicky tasting sauce. And now all you have to do is pour it into a nice bowl and serve it with either some lovely pulled pork or on your ribs, whatever you want to do with it. I've got a bottle which I've sterilized and I'm now going to pour it into my bottle and then just keep it in the fridge. Ooh. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Now that is badass. I just want to say a huge thank you again to Adam from Serdike Motorsports that gave me this really cool shirt. Yeah, had to show you this. Rock on. You guys are so badass.